Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Today I am going to show you a pantry recipe. Now a pantry recipe is the kind of recipe where most of the ingredients you should have in your pantry. Okay, so today we're gonna to make a black bean soup and it's really like, uh, very much like a meatless chili. Um, you could, if you wanted to, add some meat to this, but this would be a great meal for Meatless Monday. Or because we cannot get to the grocery store as often as we'd like, we can't just pop in and pick something up for dinner, or we shouldn't, this is a great recipe for that. So it's something to keep in the back of your mind to use up what you've already got. So in order to make this, you need two cans of black beans, one can of diced tomatoes, you need three cups of chicken broth, one small to medium onion, two whole carrots, although I'm gonna use just a few of these and I'm gonna chop them up in my processor, some oregano, some chili powder, and garlic. All right, in order to get started, we are going to chop this onion. Now, this onion is rather large. It was all I had. So I'm only going to use about half of this because I really don't need all of this for this recipe. So I'm just going to get going like that. Now, if you don't like to chop onions, and I can't say I know anybody that likes to chop onions, I would highly recommend getting one of these uh, little mini food processors. Um, I don't know how much they are in the stores, but I think they're maybe $30 or $40, give or take but they can really save you a lot of work and a lot of tears um, in the kitchen. So what you do is you cut your onion up in four to six pieces or so, and it's gonna get loud here, and you just hit chop a few times, and it chops the onions up for you. Now, a little word of warning, this, this time it didn't do it, but Frequently what will happen with these, frequently what will happen with these is um, you'll get one chunk of onion that the, the blades won't catch. And you'll keep hitting the button until you get it. I highly resist, urge you to resist that urge because what will end up happening is you will turn the onion, the rest of the onion, to mush. It'll get watery and it'll get very mushy. So try not to do that. What I recommend is taking the onions out, putting them in your pan, and then coming back and re-chopping. So I'm gonna start this over here, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back over here. And these also have a nice lock on them. They won't work if, um, if they aren't locked into place. So they can't go fly all over the kitchen or anything like that. Um, now, two carrots in this recipe, or like I said, I hardly ever peel carrots, I just do this. Um, and I just find it much more convenient and quick. So here we go. All right, that looks pretty good as well. I don't think I got any big chunks in there either. Okay. So there goes our carrot. Oh, I did get a little bit of a chunk. That's okay. All right. We did. See, we got a couple of little chunks in there, but that's okay. But you can see what I mean. That. Now, I'm also going to use a little bit of this pre-chopped garlic. I've talked about that a number of times. Now, this recipe calls for about three cloves of garlic. So I'm going to use about two teaspoons, teaspoon and a half. I like garlic, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to put two teaspoons in. Now, these vegetables now need to get soft, and that'll take five or six minutes. All right, so as you can see, the vegetables have gotten a little bit soft, and that's just the way we want them. And so now we're going to add our spices. We're gonna add a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. And I'm actually only gonna put a, a teaspoon in because, and a teaspoon of oregano, because I bought this chili powder in Turkey last year, 
and it's hot. It's got some real kick to it. Um, and that is the joy of cooking for yourself because you can control the fat, you control how spicy, you can control how salty. So that really is the joy of cooking for yourself. You can make it the way you want it. So um, we're gonna just cook that for about a minute and we're just gonna let the spices um, cook down just until you kind of start to smell the oregano and the chili powder. All right. And then you're going to add your diced tomatoes. And we're just going to mix that up. And you're going to give that about five minutes until some of the liquid starts to um, evaporate. Okay, so we're going to give that five minutes. So as you can see, this has started to bubble. And that's a good thing. Some of the liquid is, is thickening it up. And while, we, while that was happening, I drained and rinsed the two cans of beans, black beans. And so I'm going to put those in and stir it up. And then we're going to add the three cups of chicken broth. Now, I a box like this has four cups in it. So what I did was I took one cup out so that I could add the remaining. Just like that. There we go. And that is a full pot. There we go. And so what you want to do now at this point is just let this come to a boil. And then when it, once it comes to a boil, you want to lower the heat and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And so as you can see, the soup is bubbling away. And you're probably thinking to yourself, boy, that pot was a lot fuller a little while ago. And no, it hasn't reduced down so much that it all went away. What I did was I took about a third of the soup and I added it to the blender. And what I did was I pureed it a little bit. Bring it loud here. Okay. And I pureed it a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going, um, it's going to make the soup creamier and a little bit more chili-like. Um, and then at this point, you would want to adjust it for seasoning. So salt, pepper, maybe it's not hot enough. You want to add a little more um, chili powder or crushed red pepper, something like that. You can do that here. Uh, you can serve this with a little bit of sour cream if you like, especially if it comes out too hot. That always helps cut the hot a little bit. Um, you can serve it with uh, some tortilla chips on top. Um, so you've got a really good... Um, uh, soup that comes together quickly, easily, with just items from your pantry. Um, and here's a bonus on this. If, if, uh, if you happen to do Weight Watchers or WW as they call it now, this is a very um, high protein, low point uh, soup. So give this a try tonight, guys. I know you've got this.